Hi there, I'm Katie Rose and welcome to The Rooted Reinvention, a podcast exploring the real world journey of reinventing who we are without burning out or burning our whole life down. I teach people how to make lasting change by melding my Masters in Neuroscience and my Cognitive Therapy qualification with common self-help tools, spiritual concepts and my personal experience because being yourself doesn't need to feel so damn hard. To get more information on podcast episodes, please visit rootedreinvention.com forward slash podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending where you are. Welcome back to the podcast. Please excuse any scuffling sounds you might be able to hear as I think the cats can see invisible bees or something when they're chasing them. I was born at the edge of a decade and I'm considered a millennial. My parents believe in working a stable nine to five job that you keep for 40 plus years and the same rules applied to them as had been in play for kind of half a century. And then in the late 80s, early 90s, the internet spread to lay people rather than just the private network of physicists where it began. Politics shifted, technology surpassed all the rules and those kind of culturally understood societal expectations. And basically the things that I was told as a child about what adulthood would look like are no longer true. We were told that showing up, trying our best, getting good grades, meant we sit for life, we'd get a job that we'd keep for a majority of our working life, we could buy a house and explore having kids or picking a career. But even in 2010, that was no longer the norm. I remember getting my first jobs out of uni and understanding that changing jobs every three years and moving companies was not that unusual now because the 40-year stable 9-to-5 job in the same company just didn't exist anymore. The media moved from being a service to being more of a business. The sense of what we need, what we should do next, what we were told, what we were taught, just wasn't applicable anymore. I couldn't use the information that I'd been given as a a child and a teenager when I got to the adult world. And I think that's something that has really shaped how kind of millennials see culture and those kind of expectations around stability and even around identity like we are driven by our core beliefs because nothing else made sense um and i'm very happy to be corrected on this if if people disagree i'm very happy to have these discussions this is something that is an interest of mine it's not something i would consider myself an expert in although i have worked with and supported and been a millennial myself throughout this experience but we didn't have anything else to be our compass um, because the things that we were taught growing up about how the world worked just weren't true when we got to the, to the adult world. And this is something that's really interested me because there was this sense that we can only trust ourselves because nothing else made sense. And yet we were, certainly my experience was I was taught not to trust my instincts. The way society works in England, the way that my schooling worked was that I had to follow X, Y, Z as my formula for life. And I do feel that perhaps being a woman added to that and that actually my instincts, that kind of the little voice that I wanted to trust that was inside me that was saying maybe this isn't the right path, maybe it isn't the right thing, it, it was so quiet. And I was taught that 
oh, you're emotional because you're a woman or, oh, you're only having those thoughts because you don't know any better. Again, I'm not here saying this is how it is for everyone, but my personal experience is that I was told that being emotional was not good. It was part of being a woman. It was a flaw of being female. And that therefore I had nothing when it came to if I can't trust myself and my instincts and that little voice inside and following the formula they've given me doesn't work, then I'm lost. And certainly in my coaching, which I've now been doing nearly 10 years or in some form or other, I've found this to be a root cause of that sense of feeling lost that we have. Whereas people in our 20s, 30s and early 40s now Um, this is kind of where this sense of being lost but feeling we should know where we are and where we're going has come from. I'm very much aware this is my personal experience. Thinking of an example of this is that a lot of people in my generation tend to have different views and opinions on emotional experiences to those of the generations above. I don't know enough people in the generation below in that much depth to be able to say what their experience is but I grew up with children are seen and not heard, being discouraged from crying, as I spoke about last week and the week before even, that idea that if you're feeling sad there must be a reason for it and you need to get over it and a lot of the techniques that I learned to manage those sad or difficult or angry feelings was distraction Um, sort of transmutation, so listening to an angry song rather than a sad song to stop myself crying, for example, when I was a teenager. But one of the biggest lessons that I've had in the last 15 plus years of just growing up as a millennial and, and kind of trying to explore this through my degrees, through my qualifications, through all the different cognitive behavioral techniques that I'm trained in, that emotions for emotions to be done, like to go away, to to be resolved, we need to feel them. They, The only way that they move out of our headspace and our body is moving through us. And, and this is something that I've definitely noticed more and more information and kind of research being done into in the last sort of five, ten years. Um, Again, I think the episode before last, which I'll link in the show notes, I talked a lot about that kind of, it's okay to have feelings, it's okay to have multiple feelings. And that kind of, that understanding of you're burned out because of culture's messed up priorities, not because there's something wrong with you. And I feel like millennials in particular have noticed this. So again, I'm not here saying this is how it is and everything we're told in our cultural society is wrong and everything is an attack. Like I'm not saying that. I am sharing that as a millennial growing up pretty much without a map because no one knew how to map out the the adult world for us because it was changing so fast with technology and that we were also still being taught things that perhaps 30 years ago were useful, like women to not look at their instincts but actually do what they're told to do and stay in the kitchen. That's what I grew up with. That's what my experience was of of adult life. And I remember my dad losing his job when I was about 10. A computer could do his job, so he lost his job. And he then went on and got another long-time job that he had for 20-plus years. I don't see that happening anymore. I just don't think that the world we live in really has a job for everyone for 20-plus years. I know that although I've been in the same space, so I've been in the health and social care and well-being side of things in all my day jobs, I've, I've not left that, but I have still moved every couple of years to a different job role within the same company or a different company. And for me, I remember feeling that sense of, oh my goodness, I'm, my CV's going to look rubbish, I'm flitting from one thing to another, I don't look stable, no one's going to want to hire me. I was taught that this is not how you do life. And yet the opportunities for how life was taught to me to be done do not exist anymore. So again, there's that 
sense that in this day and age, we feel lost because we are lost. And it's okay. We're not flawed or wrong or damaged or broken for being lost right now. It makes total sense. It is so logically obvious in a way that we are finding new ways to craft an adult life for ourselves because we literally have no choice. And I have a lot of opinions about certainly my own exploration of identity as a millennial throughout this because again if you're taught that what you do is you go get a job for 40 years and then you get married and have a house and have a kids and do this and do that and this is the path and then 50% of those options are not options then who are you what do you do where is your place and that impacts your identity particularly if it's kind of coming up in your late teens early 20s when you're just stepping out into the world you're seen as an adult by some aspects of society and yet nothing makes sense as you were taught it would do <laughs> so today's episode was really a bit of a ramble about my experience as a millennial and that lack of stability and just kind of putting it out there that if anyone is lost you're in the right place like we're I am still lost a lot of the time I definitely feel like I've got a a decent grasp on how to kind of map out my next steps, review my goals, move forward. And I do have my academic background to kind of help me manage emotions and, and sort of my toolkit of strategies, which is what I share in Rooted Reinvention. But I really today just wanted to reassure anyone who is feeling lost in this life. And this is even before we had a global pandemic, that you're not wrong for being lost like it's not your fault and there is a way to get unlost to find that clarity um and i will pop some of my free resources and stuff in the in the show notes so that if anyone is feeling lost or doesn't know where to start um i have a bunch of things that can help so that you can kind of just make that first step because realistically we're all lost in the forest and if i've got a compass and map i am very happy to share it with you As always, thank you so much for your time and energy in listening to this. If you enjoyed it or if you know someone who who might benefit from this, someone else who might be lost, please, please share this podcast with them because my main goal is to teach every person that we are more capable than we realise and that includes capability of not feeling lost and not feeling broken for being where we are. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you again next week. Bye. Thanks for listening, and as always, you can find out more at rootedreinvention.com. Take care, remember, you are more capable than you often realise, and I'll see you next time. Bye!